Hey guys, today I wanted to do a little bit of a draw this again. Now, I did want to mention that this isn't something that I worked on or am redrawing from years and years ago to show the improvement of my skills or anything like that. This is just a piece that I decided to redo. Uh, you might remember seeing this piece done in the Arteza watercolor review. And what ended up happening is I really loved the piece, the line work that I had created and the basic concept. And I wanted to redo it in a style that is similar to my other Ghibli prints that I sell at Artist Alley's which are all in alcohol marker and since I was doing the original piece for a watercolor review the style was going to be just a little bit different. Um, I went into it thinking that I might want to redo it right from the get-go um, and so I really concentrated on just focusing on the paints and reviewing the products and testing that out. As you can see, I end up using a combination of all sorts of brands that I have from Copic to the Marvy Le Plume permanent markers, which are like my runner up Copic dupe favorites, as well as a lot of other inexpensive markers that I do have in my collection. Alcohol markers are really great because as long as they are alcohol based, you can use them interchangeably pretty well. Um, it's just a matter of the longevity of the ink in the barrel and having to replace that or being able to buy a larger range of colors is what typically makes alcohol markers more expensive. As you can see, I show you a few of my Ghibli and succulent crossover pieces that I have in my original collection. This Mononoke piece actually ends up being the fourth uh, in my series and I actually already have another one planned out that I need to sit down and just work on and I will likely do that in marker as well. A lot of people that attend artist alleys and see my table tend to think that everything I do is watercolor and I suppose the way I use markers might be a little different than some. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I use them differently but I do agree that they kind of look a little bit watercolory and soft uh, and flowy like watercolors, but these pieces are definitely 100% uh, alcohol marker with the pencil as the line work and a little bit of shading that I do at the end. But uh, yeah, I think that's interesting. Uh, I never had any real formal training with art markers, and so I may just use them like watercolor, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure how I would use them differently, and I don't think I am harming my art supplies, so I'm gonna continue to use them the way I do. <laughs> and all I wanted to sort of pop on here and talk with you about and just sort of do a little bit of an introduction into what I'm doing and why you might be a little confused as to why you're seeing this piece done again. But I will say that I am extremely happy with how this final piece, it, th this art's final form turned out. Uh, and I have actually been selling it at Artist Alley's and it's been doing really well. So I think a lot of you guys like this design as well. And it was really fun to work on. I definitely spent a ton more time working on this over the original piece. And part of that is because going into the uh, watercolor review, I had a feeling I was gonna redo this. So I wanted to just focus on reviewing the watercolors, like I mentioned before, and not do a ton of detail because I knew I would be clocking in a lot of hours for this one design. And the other reason is I just sort of dove deep into adding detail to this piece. So there's various shading, there's a lot of detail like white gel pen, and uh, I just added a lot more variation than my original design had and I ended up really enjoying how that looks. Let me know what you think if you like this more than my Arteza review piece. Um, if you don't, just don't comment because I don't, I don't really care. I like this one better. So, 
But if you enjoy this video and seeing me work on certain fan pieces like this, please leave me a like. I know I don't always share a ton of fan art pieces. Uh, I have recently because I have been updating a lot of my products at Artist Alley's and uh, that is generally about 50% of the products I offer are fan art based because I like things and you guys like things too so I draw them <laughs> uh, and that helps with the sort of supplemental income at Artist Alley's for me. And if you enjoy seeing videos like this and hearing fun art topics and enjoying seeing my process and hearing behind the scenes and all that good stuff, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell just to not miss anything and join me on this art journey. I would love to hear from you as well down in the comments about how you are doing on your art journey and if you have ever gone into a project like this where you realize from the beginning that you're probably going to be redoing it completely and possibly in a completely different medium. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me know those stories down below. I'd love to hear what that experience has been like for you. And that is it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I also hope you have a creatively fulfilled day and a fantastic weekend. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.